There are a lot of variables to consider when it comes to buying an equestrian property in New Hampshire. If you're on the hunt for a new home for your horses but are feeling overwhelmed by all of the technical details that come with it, be sure to watch this video to learn 11 important things to look for when buying a horse property so that you don't wind up stuck in the mud, literally and figuratively. Stay tuned until the end to hear one important tip that's all too often forgotten about. First, always walk the land when buying a horse property, looking at both the terrain and condition of any fences. You'll likely want open land, though some woods may be helpful for natural shade. You'll definitely want to avoid wet, swampy areas, and you'll want to consider how much land on the property is actually usable. A larger property covered in trees and water may actually have less usable space than a smaller property without those features. Additionally, check each property you look at for vegetation that's toxic to horses or signs of animals that can cause issues. Continuing with the terrain, examine the slope of the land. We know that pastures and paddocks need dry footing and creating well-draining areas after the fact can be expensive and difficult. Ideally, the land should have a slight slope around two to 5% grade to allow for drainage and prevent major erosion or mud. Also, make sure there's enough water available for your needs, including in a drought. Determine water pressure, the type of water supply, and whether there are any natural water features on the property. Next, check out the structures. If there's currently a barn, examine the number and size of stalls, whether there's a tack room, feed storage, and a wash stall. Also note whether there's a secondary structure to store adequate amounts of hay or whether it would need to be stored in the barn. Then verify whether there's electricity in the buildings and the last time it was inspected and updated. When you find a horse property you're interested in, it's super important to make sure you have an inspection on the other structures like barns and arenas as well. Additionally, observe what parking and equipment storage look like. Determine whether there's enough space for trailers, tractors, and arena maintenance equipment if you need it. And be sure to check whether there's enough space to ride or if you'll need to create riding areas or find a nearby arena. If there are riding spaces on the property, find out what the arena surfaces are made of. We know that horses have incredibly delicate tendons and ligaments in their legs, and a riding surface that's too hard, soft, or inappropriate for your discipline can cause injury. And let's not forget about manure management. Confirm what current manure removal consists of, whether it suits your needs, and ensure that it meets zoning regulations. Last but certainly not least, too many people fail to consider the septic system on a horse property. If there's an existing septic system, you'll want to make sure the leach field is not under the pastures. If the barn has an extensive setup with a wash stall, living quarters, laundry, etc., check if it has its own septic because this can put a lot of strain on just one system. Now that you know the top things to look for when searching for a horse property, be sure you've watched my last video on tips for buying an equestrian property for the first time. In it, you'll learn all about the purchasing process and what to expect.